This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Uh, hello friends. Uh, I have an interesting case today and this is an elderly patient who is presented with a lesion which uh, on casual torchlight examination would probably look like a corneal opacity but in fact the patient was having severe pain, headache and vomiting and obviously this was a case of lens induced phacolytic glaucoma and this white thing is actually the liquefied lens matter which is filled up the antechamber something like a pseudo hyperpion after the initial anti glaucoma and anti inflammatory therapy the patient was taken up for surgery i make a side port incision and irrigate the chamber and all the lens matter in the chamber could easily washed off After creating the main incision, I am staining the anterior capsule with trypan blue. The rexus is now being performed using a forceps. The zonules seem to be of reasonable strength at this stage as I am not noticing any capsular fold during rexus and the tearing is also quite seamless. Well the real challenge will be during the nucleus management since a nucleus will be free floating and they will not be having any epinuclear cushion. And the capsular bag and the zonules in this elderly patient will be weak. The visibility is not so great owing to the lack of corneal clarity. I plan to do a direct vertical chop. The initial grip on the nucleus is not great and you can see I'm quite uh, it's difficult to hold it. After a couple of attempts I am able to bury deeply and the nucleus now could be easily chopped. Care is taken during chopping and uh, lateral separation that uh, the stress is not imparted on the zonules. The posterior plate has not completely separated. Now we'll move on to the next uh, hemi-nucleus. The tip is buried nice and deep this time and since I could get a very firm grip the chop is better in this case. Moving on to the next chop here again I can see that the grip is not firm and because of the tip is more superficially buried since I don't have a firm grip you can see the chop is not efficient. It's not through and through. Uh, so all the quadrants are free in the upper side but looks like they are all attached at a common point uh, at the posterior plate. So what do we do now? Trying to mechanically separate the posterior plate in the bag by repeating the lateral separation may not be such a good idea since we are dealing with a potentially loose bag and zonules in this case. Uh, the easiest option which usually I use is to fake the portion of the attachment to the posterior plate and then all the fragments will be freed upon. But in this it is not safe to emulsify it in the bag as the bag is totally empty. So I decide to manipulate the nucleus into the antechamber under the cover of viscoelastic and then fake with the part of the posterior plate which is holding it together. Once we do that all the fragments are uh, loose and then each of these fragments are emulsified. But we can see here that I am emulsified or rather I am forced to emulsify them in a much more anterior plane contrary to my usual recommendations. 
the flow rate is reduced because we need to remember that in these elderly patients and these morgagnon cataracts the bag will be very flimsy and loose and sometimes when you use a very high flow rate the bag itself can get aspirated into the phago tip so that you need to be mindful of that uh, during emulsification of fragments i always try to keep my chopper above the level of the fragments just trying to protect them from flying around and hitting the endothelium so finally each of these fragments are emulsified one by one So once it is done, I implant a CTR in the bag. And finally, it's time for the lens to be implanted. At this point, I'm seeing a small desmans membrane detachment, and probably because of the increased maneuver in the antechamber. And to support it, I'm putting an air bubble to provide a temporary tamponade. And the next postoperative day, this is how the eye looks. Well, as expected, there was coronal edema, but the there is still air bubble which is supporting the small desmans membrane detachment which is there. The coronal OCT was done, which is all right. The desman membrane was attached. Well, eventually the cornea cleared up, and the patient did pretty well. Uh, thank you for your attention, and hope this helps. Thank you.